Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know it has been quite a while since I've been able to film anything, um, maybe a year. Um, I have a really good excuse though. I had a baby on the 1st of June, so I didn't film a whole lot when I was pregnant because my back tends to hurt when all my pregnancies. And it has been hard to find the time with a six month old because she just turned a six, mo six months old on the 1st of December. So hold on. Here she is, here's Miss Ella. She is six months old. And yes, she likes to watch herself and smile at her own reflection. Ah. Yeah. So she's right here next to me. So if you hear her make noise, that's just the life of a mom. Um, for this first video, um, you can probably tell from the title, I've decided to do my current fall favorites. So this is all makeup that I have purchased um, a little before the fall and after the fall. So, um, you'll see I have a, an older little girl. So we have a whole bunch of mini stuff. Everything in this little mini thing is all makeup I'll be talking about. So we'll just start grabbing from it and just talk about it there. So the first thing on my list of current favorites is this butter bronzer, um, by Physicians Formula. I forgot about who they were for a second. And it's literally just their Muru Muru Butter Bronzer in color of bronzer. Um, it smells like a tropical vacation. It has a good sunscreen scent. But it's a very good... I just use it to warm up my cheeks when I'm putting on my makeup and then I'll contour. Um, so I'm actually wearing it today. I wear it, I've been wearing it ever since I got it. Um, which is a few weeks ago. And it smells amazing. Amazing. And it does have a little mirror in the bottom. Uh, it came with a brush. And you know I toss that away. Nobody has time for those little brushes. Now for a setting powder I've recently become obsessed with. Oh, and that bronzer is like $12.99, so it's not like super crazy. Um, I have become obsessed with the Hourglass um, Translucent Setting Powder Veil. Uh, that's the color, Veil. Um, but it's definitely a higher end brand. It has a little H on the bottom and a little stopper. Um, I got this as an early Christmas present, or well, it was ordered as a Christmas present for my in-laws and I, she let me keep it, but mm. we won't talk about the fact it's like $46, but it's, it does a really good job. And I blame Nicole Guerrero for her using this in a video that caused me to immediately want to try it myself. Um, another thing is drugstore find. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Um, I had it in waterproof and I hate waterproof mascara and I don't know why I bought it. I think I just grabbed one. It didn't look. Um, but I recently repurchased it in black as black, not waterproof. Amazing. 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 Um, like six, seven ninety nine, and it probably does as well as like fake eyelashes do. Um, another one it is another drugstore brand. It is by makeup revolution and I don't know if you could see is their conceal and define foundation. Um, it's it's like a full coverage. It's amazing. It's got a great shade range. The only thing I don't like is the doe foot applicator because if you have like a breakout and like all that bacteria and you're just reusing it on your face. Um, but I do like to use this and mix it with my other favorite, which is the Too Faced Born This Way uh, Undetectable Foundation. And I use it in shade porcelain and this one is in shade Fair 6. Go figure, I use Fair. But I like to mix these two together because this one's just a shade light and this one's just like a little bit dark. Well, not a shade light, like just a little light and this is a little dark. So mixing these two is great. And they're both, they have really great wear and um, they don't, they don't break up for me. I mean, sometimes they'll break up, especially now because I scratch my nose because I have a cold. Or I'm always in a perpetual state of a cold thanks to a four year old in preschool. Um, let's see, what's else in my bag of tricks? This is another drugstore brand. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in shade light. And I actually saw this on BuzzFeed the other day for the 30 products under $10 to purchase. And this was one of them for getting rid of dark circles. And I'm actually wearing it today. And it did a great job of covering them up. I mean, I have a six month old, so I'm in a perma state mm. of exhaustion. So that's just unfortunately something that happens for me. Um, another thing that I've been obsessed with is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Um, recently when I traveled to Nebraska for work, I took this with me 
and the shade range on this is absolutely gorgeous you have one two three four five shimmer shades you have a dark black and a dark brown and then you've just got a, a very wide range of colors um, you may not be able to tell it with thanks to my lighting but this is probably like the oddest shade in here and it's kind of like a subdued orange I would and it's called orange soda so go figure um, but that's probably the one I haven't used yet the only one I haven't used yet just because I don't have a need to use an, an actual orange color on my face um, so I am obsessed with buying contour palettes uh, eyeshadow palettes and yeah that's basically what I am obsessed by eyeshadow palettes and contour palettes so the last Three items are contour palettes go figure I uh, figured I would give you one final break before I do that so I bought the small little guy of this I think he was 20 bucks uh, I'll put everything down below for you of course uh, but this is the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask it is uh, a little bit of a runnier um, moisturizer I don't take it off and it it smells like watermelon it doesn't smell like that faux watermelony smell like the um, Too Faced Do Up um, foundation that has that artificial watermelon smell. This smells like true watermelon. Like if you were to cut a watermelon open, it's gonna smell like this. So I don't like those artificially smells. So I will start with this one. I don't know if you can see it, but it says NARS. And this is the Orgasm Infatuation Palette. Now I've been using two of these three products probably since college. And it is, the first one is the Laguna Bronzer. I use this. Um, this is probably one of their top selling bronzers. And this is the Orgasm Blush. It's one of the most high, highest selling blushes in the world. I think they said like one of, one of these blushes is sold like every four or five seconds, which I could believe because it's amazing. And then this one is the Orgasm Highlighting Blush Powder. Really, it's just a champagne highlighter, but it's beautiful. Uh, it's very blinding. I am not wearing that one today. I am wearing I'm wearing the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit today. So if you can see that glow, um, the other one I've gotten recently is the Smashbox Cali Contour. This has six shades in it, and it travels amazingly well. It's not a big palette. I mean, it's literally the size of my hand and I have big hands so it's decent sized um, you have here you've got a contour and then their highlight you have a champagne highlighter a bronze highlight your bronzer and then a blush um, really the only things that are shimmering are the two smaller pans in the middle um, as I said, it's a great size. It's a great value, like 40 bucks for this. So, you know, you've got decent sized pants. You've got a good color selection. Pretty much anybody can use it. Um, I don't use the bronzer much because I have my Laguna one. <laughs> but uh, I do use that one. And then this one, I did manage to snag one. Um, I was getting wanting to get the second holiday release of this palette. But I didn't because it's already gone. <laughs> or at least it's already gone from Sephora's website. It is the Hourglass ambient lighting edit unlocked um and i love hourglass powders they are probably some of the best i'll hold it upside down but i'll tell you because i can the actual wording is upside down if i hold it this way so you've got the bronzer here and then you've got two finishing powders you have finishing powder in soft light and then filtered light you have bronzer or blush i'm sorry nude glow mood light and then their metallic strobe powder and champagne strobe light um, they had another one that was like a purpley pink and it had more of like a a swirly like bronzers and then two blushes as i said i missed out on it um this was this is 80 um and i can't remember how much this is i think it's like under 40 dollars for the three um but those are pretty much kind of like what my favorites are uh, currently uh, I, of course, have stuff I purchased long ago that still makes its way through my favorites. But with Christmas coming, um, I'm hoping to add to my collection. Um, that is one thing that I do, truly do collect is makeup. Um, as I said, contour palettes and eyeshadow palettes are those things that I just buy all the time. So 
thanks for watching and don't forget if you want to subscribe go ahead and subscribe and we will see you on our next video